You may have noticed that at the bottom of the shape editor, there is a section called Relief Combine Mode. These are various options allowing you to specify how the relief you are creating interacts with any reliefs that have already been generated. The default mode is Add. This just adds anything onto the top of what is already generated. Subtract will do the opposite and remove material. And here you can see that it is just added onto the original design. This is fine for this section that I'm creating here because it fits inside the original fleur de lis. The rectangle running through the bottom is different, however. If I were to add this, you will see that it adds on top of the relief that is already there to give an odd effect. What I need to use with this is Merge High, which will merge the reliefs into one another. Again, all of this works in real time, allowing you to see the outcome prior to committing. The Replace mode allows you to place something that would require a start height and may look weird because of it being too high. Replace cuts out whatever is inside the vector and pastes the relief down regardless of the height. Something that is associated with the combined modes are relief layers. Relief layers allow you to create reliefs on different layers, which then allow you to edit individual layers rather than having to change the whole design, which is very useful. If you expand the front relief under the project tree, you will see a relief layer. This can be renamed by right clicking on it and selecting rename. To create a new layer, you can either select the large plus symbol next to the front relief, or you can right click and select new layer. This will become highlighted straight away, allowing you to enter a name. Also note that the current layer that you are working on is in bold text. For this insert layer, I'm going to create a recessed area and for the rectangle running through the bottom, I'm going to use the Merge High to blend this in. Now you notice that it doesn't seem to work and it appears to be adding it. This is because the relief layer acts as a global combine mode. So in this case, the layer bar is set to add and this can be changed to Merge High by left clicking on the symbol to the left of the name until it toggles through to merge high. Another thing to consider is where the layers are placed in the tree. If I move the fleur de lis to the top of the tree, the whole design is wrong. That's because the recess has been created before the fleur de lis. So when the fleur de lis is added over the recess, it removes it. I have the same problem with the bar layer. It is merging into the recess layer and not the fleur de lis layer. So I need to drag the fleur de lis layer to the bottom in order to get the correct layout. The advantage of having each of these entities placed on separate layers is that if I ever need to change anything in the future, I can do so really easy and it will not affect the other parts of the design. 